God. My name's Will, and I believe the best version of you is on the other side of curiosity. What up heroes and welcome back to the channel. Now when I say the words bunny, what's the first thing that pops in mind? Probably some really tiny, cute little furry thing, right? But on this episode, we're not talking about any tiny little rabbit. We're talking more like the Bugs Bunny of rabbits. This week we decided to go to an exotic animal rescue where they had one of the world's largest bunnies. I know. Weird, huh? Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you are interested in coming along for more relentlessly curious content. And don't forget to hit the like button if you like what you see. Today we're going to the uh, the bunny hutch. The bunny hutch is an exotic animal rescue. I don't really know what to expect. This is that place with that giant bunny, right? The giant bunny. The giant bunny. The giant bunny. What made you interested in this place? As I'm scrolling through Google, it's like exotic animals all together. I don't know if they're gonna let us touch it. I think they do. I think it's this blue building right here. Yeah, it's like super quiet here. I mean, maybe it's the weather, you know? It's like beautiful above and then like kind of terrible over there. This is cool. I think, I think I'm, I'm supposed to. Is this what you're supposed to do? I, I think so. I think I'm, I think, I think this is a, uh, the door is locked. Please ring the bells. Animals are out playing. Hey. Welcome to the Bunny Hutch Boutique and Climate's Exotic Animal Rescue. Will, nice to meet you. Hi, nice to meet you. I'm Dr. Maxwell. Since we do these tours on a donation basis, the animals do all of the artwork. We paint the back canvas, but on the back of each artwork, there's a picture of the animal that did it. So every zookeeper has a ton of snake shit. The kids color it with food coloring, and then an artist seals it in acrylic. That's blue. He's three and a half foot savannah monitor and you'll meet him today. Savannah monitor. Mm -hmm. oh, yes. uh, Africa we call them rock monitor. Scarlet's out in the run. She's an eight and a half foot red-tailed Suriname polo. She's about as vicious okay. as a kitten. Cats stress me out a little <laughs> bit. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I'm not afraid of cats. I just don't know what they're thinking. Junior is a continental giant at 25 pounds and three foot eight. He is the largest rabbit in the United States. 25 pounds. And he's the runt. Junior's father is King Darius, the Guinness Book World's largest bunny. Wow, I think I've seen that. Precinct honorary police officer. Wow, he's a cop. He is. Get a popo. Uh, he didn't get Easter Bunny of the United States this year, but he did get to sit, spend National Pet Day with the Secret Service. Wow. <laughs> the interns here are in our professional program. I think almost all of our interns have gotten into vet school. I'm a retired pathologist. Let me go Amazing. grab some of the interns, and they'll give you guys a tour. Cool. Hi, Brenna. Brenna, well. Okay, cool. All right. So here we have our two ferrets. I always wanted a ferret. They're like dogs, but not. So this I is like Brandon. That. He's got a little dark spot on his nose. Brandon and Gloria sound like actors. They're named after a YouTuber. Yeah. Oh. Can we get a Will there, J more in there? No. Can you no. get a what? We can't get a Will J in there. <laughs> She's so cute. Ferrets have a reputation of being really stinky. These guys actually aren't because they took out the anal scent gland. I'm gonna smell Gloria. Uh, you said? Oh, <laughs> she kissed me. Kiss. Smells kind of like a cat. They like to poop when they first wake up, so oh. like what's That's exciting. Yeah. Hi. Rabbits? Like, it's just like a constant love fest between them, and they could care less about us. So, cuteness warning. They're they baby chinchillas. They're so cute. I'm a thug or whatever, but. Oh my god. So we give you everything you need to get started. They're so cute. Look at their faces. Oh. It's pretty hot in here. She's a bearded dragon. She's a German giant. She's really just like <laughs> oh, being on my ah, shoulder. Ooh. Does that hurt? <laughs> no. There's a lot of scales. It's kind of a feel like anything. It kind of like, feels like dry skin. Yeah. Like and my like lips. These are I love animals, man. I don't think I've met a, a certain type of animal that I don't like quite yet. Yeah, well, except for Rottweilers. So, that's a real fox. Like, Real fox. Hey. So this is Shio. Do they yap? Do they like make that foxy sort of? Sounds like he's like in pain or something. Like, yeah. Ah. I'm down for whatever, so. Whoa. Look at that. Hey, baby. Oh, that's actually kind of a. <laughs> wow. You must smell good because he's really so smelling he's you. <laughs> they have a, an organ in their head called a Jacobson's organ. That was a little intimidating. I'm not like scared of him. As vicious as a kitten. Yeah, he seems super chill. But the tongue, the tongue is a little. He's ready to go. He's you know, he kind of looks like Voldemort. Can I touch his back? He loves it's very fish. soft. So he's not considered a, an exotic. Is he considered like a... exotics? Is basically anything that's not a cat or a dog. Oh, so okay. Actually, Scarlet. Oh, she's huge. She's about okay. Eight and a half feet long. Really big. What? Do, so what do you feed her? Like children or bunnies? No bunnies? No, so 
That's we for try. like keep them separate. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's a contradiction. No, we just feed them rats. Okay. Those are there gotta be some big rats. She's uh she's cool. She's quiet. She seems like real, you know, sophisticated. <laughs> That's his bath? It's his soak. He can sit in it, Look at he can that. drink from it. All right, we're going upstairs. Man of the hour. Oh my. Welcome to Junior's penthouse. God. That's a lot of bunny. So we met Junior and my first impression of Junior was that he is massive, like huge. It's a 25 pound bunny. And if I could put that into perspective for you guys, that's about the size of like a medium sized dog. Not a tiny chihuahua, a medium sized dog. I think he might be bigger than my dog. Does he act like a dog? Actually, yeah. Come here. Come here. I feel it. I feel it. I, wow. I keep having to remind myself that this is like a like a bunny. Like a normal bunny is like this big. And he's just chilling, air conditioned room. He's a and spoiled little boy. So natively, like what do these guys like they, they live overseas, but so there is no are they really species that's this big? He's not a natural no. rabbit. So does he like work out or like he just he yeah, just chills? For treats, probably. Yeah. <laughs> the most he does. Sounds he like a great life. Is this his started. home? Can I see his home? Yeah. His pimp castle? Poop castle. Oh, poop, poop, pimp not castle. pimp. <laughs> you like actually have to watch out for him. He's yeah, he's yeah, going yeah, in yeah, on that chair. <laughs> cool, yeah. Let's uh let's leave him, you know, to the chair. You know, I'm still kinda like I don't like I see him in front of me, right? Like he he's there. But like I still kinda see a dog. Look at him. Look at him so fresh. Look at him. See you, Junior. That's my boy. Hey. You take care of that chair. <laughs> no, I'm saying. I see you, Junior. The staff that worked at the rescue center were absolutely amazing. And I really appreciate what they were doing for these animals. My boy Junior up there. So that was amazing. So anyway, guys, this has been awesome. I appreciate the experience. Thank you so much. I like Junior, you know what I'm saying? He reminds me a lot of myself. Junior's huge, what do you think about Junior, bro? I mean, he's got the life, man. So this was a, it was a different episode. So I have to give a huge thanks to Bunny Hutch for allowing us to film in their facility. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you're interested in coming along for more relentlessly curious content. And make sure you hit that thumbs up button for Junior. Catch you guys on the next one. Peace.